I just way overpaid for a Domino's pizza, but I spent two hours learning how to use Kubernetes. So it was probably worth the training. Hey everyone, welcome to Fork it, the weekly podcast and live stream where I work on open source. Uh, we do some open source contributions, hopefully, uh, but really learning some new tools, uh, some debugging and development best practices. And today we are going to continue a series I started last week on ordering pizza as code. Uh, we're using infrastructure as code providers to order pizza. And that's, that's the goal. We want to have pizza at the end of the day. Uh, we are open sourcing, or I am open sourcing uh, all of the code on how to do this. And the first week we looked at using Terraform, and this week we're looking at Crossplane. So let's go ahead and pull up my terminal here, and let's get a browser window so we can show off Crossplane. Go. All right, so this is the project we're going to use. And the difference here with Crossplane versus Terraform is Terraform is a local uh, DAG creator where it creates a graph of all of the resources I need to use to call an API for infrastructure. And it does that locally. It's using the command line utility and the APIs to be able to say, okay, Terraform knows what it needs to create first and second and third. And then it sends all that to the different APIs in order. So when I was ordering a pizza, I needed to create the address first, and then I create the order, those sorts of things. I'm pretty sure Domino's is all one API. I didn't actually look at it. Uh, but in general, that's how it works. Crossplane is a little bit different where it's going to use a controller inside a Kubernetes cluster. And so I'm going to submit some data over to Crossplane, just like the HCL I write in Terraform, where I'm writing some configuration language, some data to say, this is what I want the end state to look like. And Terraform as the command line will generate the thing I needed. And in this ca case, Crossplane is going to generate the thing I need. And Crossplane works very similar where there's providers installed to call the different APIs, all that sort of stuff. So the, th the main thing that's different with Crossplane versus Terraform is I need a Kubernetes cluster for Crossplane to work. And so and as soon as I get started, I have to actually just create a Kubernetes cluster. And this can be any Kubernetes cluster. Uh, so we're going to do it today with kind. Uh, and I hope you all can see that. All right. Let's make it a little bit bigger. I don't need all that space. Uh, kind create create cluster. And we're just going to go ahead and use the defaults. I don't think I need a specific version. Uh, let's just go ahead and, and try to make it work. Crossplane dominoes. And I know the reason I started this was because Crossplane already wrote up a blog post now three years ago <laughs> about ordering pizza with the Domino's API. So Domino's is, a, is often a fun first time provider that people will create uh, because they have an API. So we have this project that they created from a template and it'll probably tell me how to get started. So I do need, do I have Crossplane installed? Let's double check. Uh, probably version. Nope. So let's brew install Crossplane. Oh, don't have it. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm running a, a Kubernetes cluster so I can call a Domino's API. Should that be required? Is that is that a general requirement that we think is a good idea? Um, for some people that already have Kubernetes clusters, they'll say, yes, of course, I understand Kubernetes. I'm an expert in Kubernetes. Everything should be Kubernetes. For other people, like I ran Terraform without needing to run a Kubernetes cluster. That was great. I just, I ran it from my local machine and that was a good experience, uh, except for the provider didn't work. Uh, but in general, <laughs> it was a good experience. There we go. Now we have our kind cluster. We're ready to go. Someone pointed out when I was ordering this with Terraform, like I could just use DoorDash or I could just use the, the Domino's app, right? Like I don't have to do it this way. Uh, I can use, I can pick up a phone and I can call someone. There are all different ways of ordering a pizza. And sometimes we make things too complicated because we like the tools or we're used to those tools. Install Crossplane. And so again, this is going to run a controller inside the Kubernetes cluster, which is going to look at a bunch of CRDs. And these are all just data files that are stored in Kubernetes to then do actions to the API based on what those data files say. So we're going to add this. Oh man, if they're, if they're doing dollar sign, if I'm copying that dollar sign, oh good. Okay, at least they ignore it. I hate that. <laughs> that is a documentation pet peeve of mine. Already exists. Look at that, I already have this thing. Uh, 
Okay, we updated our charts. And this is going to install crossplane. So Helm install crossplane. And again, this is running in a kind cluster. I don't need to, you don't have to have a, a cloud hosted cluster. This is just on my local machine. And then we can watch for them to run. One's already running. What? Ready? Oh, one's just not ready. Okay. There we go. Install specific version. Don't need that. Install deployments. Crossplane creates two Kubernetes deployments in the crossplane system namespace. If that's what I got. Yeah. So I think at this point I have the main controller running. And the next thing I need is I need the provider. And that's what this is doing here. So let's go ahead and grab this. And I, I have no idea if this is going to work. Uh, <laughs> This was all written three years ago, as you can see. So it was written for fun. If Domino's changed their API, uh, we this isn't going to work. Okay, so we have a secret here, uh, which is doing something in credentials. This is base64 encoded. We could look at that if we want. Um, so it's a payment secret. A provider config. This is... Credentials. Okay, so this is our credentials JSON. We have to base64 that. So we have to make a file uh, that has all of these, this information of my credit card, and we're going to put that in the secret, and that needs to go here for this credentials JSON. And then after that, we need to, oh, that's just a provider config. That's all it needs. Okay. And then create an order. Wait. I haven't even created anything. I haven't made a configure the provider. I didn't install a provider though. It's only order and provider here. Example order. And this is saying we need to do this API version for the provider. This has an address, which is uh, the Domino's address, probably. That's where you're ordering from your information oh and they do actually have a delivery that's cool the other the terraform provider didn't have a delivery option um oh i could even say cash oh that's even better i don't need a credit card i don't need to i don't need to specify a credit card in the order i can only order 14 inch cheese pizza bottles of coke and two liters of coke for now oh man <laughs> this provider sucks <laughs> 14 inch cheese pizza that's it that's all you get okay I bet if I look at the actual code, it's going to be hard coded somewhere that they probably have like an item number um, that they can use. And so they're not doing a lookup because the Terraform provider did a dynamic lookup. I could add search terms and I could search for menu items. I couldn't create my own custom pizza, but I could add search terms and then look those up. Uh, okay, next thing we can look at is the make file. Builds, generate image, image push, run. Okay, so here's, so there is a package CRDs. Okay, so we can do this, we can do a run. I don't want to push. Go run. And this is going to run the provider locally. So I should be able to make run. This is just going to install the provider and it's going to run it locally and looking at the Kubernetes API that I have probably defined from my shell. Resource mapping not found. Yeah, because I don't have the CRDs. Okay, so it's trying to get, it's trying to install those. I don't have the CRD. First, I need the CRDs. <laughs> That's step number one. I need the CRDs installed. So this is already assuming I have the CRDs installed, and I don't. Did I apply? This is the CRD. I tried to install this. This resource is the custom resource definition. API extensions. That is wrong. That is the wrong API. That's what it is. This graduated. Custom resource definition, API extensions V1. See, oh, so that's that's my problem. I'm no longer in the beta because I have 127 cluster here. So I need to edit my examples, providers. 
If you're watching this video right now, I'm gonna bypass all of the troubleshooting I did for basically two hours because my thought was I could upgrade the CRDs that were in the example folder and then push those into the cluster. Uh, because I was using Kubernetes 127, which had graduated APIs. That did not work for a variety of reasons, mainly because when I would run the make commands to go build the controller, it would automatically generate those CRDs for me through the cube builder process. And without upgrading the cube builder process with the new CRD specs, it was always going to generate the wrong CRDs and then fail the process. And because the controller was built against those APIs, things didn't match up, obviously. So after a couple hours of troubleshooting that, I'm going to fast forward you all the way up to the point where I realized I just needed to use an old version of Kubernetes. If I used Kubernetes 121, which didn't have the graduated CRD APIs, then we could run the controller and we could start ordering some pizza. <laughs> this is the type of the bu bug you figure out in the middle of the night before you go to sleep. Yeah, and that is why I still say that naps are the best debugging tool. Um, if you can, no. If you can take a nap, you'll figure it out. 14. This is the last, this is my last hope. This is it. I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, we failed. Uh, I'm going to stop. I'm just going to get some, actually just go like buy my own food. <laughs> like a, like a caveman <laughs> going and buying food with a credit card and talking to a person. Why 121? I don't know. Just because I felt like it. <laughs> it has a beta API. <gasps> what? Oh, no way. Make run. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's running. the The controller's there. It's running. Give me that cheese pizza. Okay, create. No, apply. Order. If this works, if this works, pizza for everyone. Created. No freaking way. Warning. Cannot connect to provide. <laughs> Oh, I don't have, oh, uh, I need to install the Helm chart again. Come on, we're gonna get it. <laughs> what a tease, I don't, I destroyed the cluster and I forgot to install Crossplane again. Now I'm excited again. Okay, it's running, okay, get CRDs. Okay, we got all those CRDs again. Um, okay. Successfully requested. No way. No way. It It's doing something. Cheese pizza. Boom. We're, we're getting pizza for lunch, folks. This is it. Friggin' three hours later. Uh, it's, pr I got a price even. I got a manager. I got a price. No way. Yes. <laughs> okay, and they have a store phone. Um, I have to call them. Thank you for calling Domino's. This is Matt. How can I help you? Hey, Matt. My name's Justin. I was just curious if you just got an order for a cheese pizza from me. Ooh, uh, large, I believe. I think I made it. Uh, it would have just come in like a couple minutes ago. Uh, so I have two for Justin Garrison. You have two. Oh, which, what do you have? Uh, it looks like they're the same thing. They're both for 1938. One is a large cheese pizza. The other one is, yeah, a large cheese pizza. Can you cancel one of those for me? One of them or both of them? Uh, just one of them. I'll come get the other one. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and cancel that for you right now. Awesome. Cool. And uh, so I'll come by in about 20 minutes? Uh, actually, actually, it should be in the oven already right now. Uh, so give us like five, ten more minutes. Dang, you're fast. All right, cool. I'll be right over. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thanks. Bye. Freaking yeah! It's in the oven. They uh, they made it for me. They got two orders. I don't know why. But yeah, that's, that's kind of amazing. Um, and also, 
great example of why Kubernetes is not for everything. Because <laughs> the amount of time I spent trying to get this CRD to work uh, was was beyond what I should have done, or should, should have had to do to upgrade the CRDs and get this thing to work. And so rolling all the way back to Kubernetes 121, uh, I'm going to go get a pizza for lunch. So order status. Oh, order status even said the oven, didn't it? No way. That's cool. Bad. Oh, they canceled. <laughs> they canceled this one. <laughs> so I'm running through this. I'm going to have an open source repo that's going to show what the difference is. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do one or two more of these streams. And then I'm actually stopping these streams next year um, or whenever I finish this pizza series uh, to do something else. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks everyone again. Thanks for all the help if you left comments and helped me debug things and I will talk to you soon.